on this break here, John? What do you see? I mean, two balls on the break, or one ball on the break, but uh, I'm not sure he has a shot. No, he's gonna. He's probably gonna try to roll out somewhere, or he's, he really doesn't have a lot of freedom at this point. He might have to roll out to a bank. We'll see what happens. This is uh, Jay Hlobacek, uh and Joshua Edgars. Joshua is shooting now in the Jack Daniels t-shirt. <laughs> in keeping with our dress code here at the Rum Runner. <laughs> yeah, collars on Sunday, actually, is what I'm told. Is that actual policy? Collars on Sunday. If you come to the Rum Runner, Rum Runner to play anything, make sure you've got a collar on. Okay, uh, failed bank attempt there, but I think Josh might have gotten a good roll. John, what is your favorite game to play? Well, we play ball, uh, ball in hand, BCA rules in LA. Uh, eight or nine, eight ball? Eight ball. Okay. So you're you're not much of a rotation player, I take it. Is that is that nine, nine balls their second game? We don't. I don't know of any rooms that play a lot of one pocket or the other games. Okay. You know, my business is all in uh, bar boxes, so it's pretty much what brings in the most quarters. But our life's goal is to make money and have fun, so I think eight ball. <laughs> Cut out the special weapons. We've got a jump stick here. Fire in the hole and he got lucky on the leave, that's great. Yeah, he, you know, that was a good jump. What do you think? Do you think uh, you think these guys are, from what you're seeing already, what, what, what speed would you say these guys are? Are they addressing the ball right? Are they looking at the, are they shooting the right shots? It's very, usually very easy to tell, you know, very early on. Both of them have got a very good eye. You can, like you said, you can definitely tell by a nice smooth stroke. Looking at the potential of another uh, jump shot here. jump, two jump, and uh, first open shot we're seeing since this break, since this break, and Jay's going to take it on, obviously looking at that angle. A very difficult shot, you can see him lining it up, he's got to get it in his mind's eye.
swing and a miss. And I think Josh uh, can see the paint on the uh, two. Not sure he has a a real clear line to shoot with, but uh, he, he he can see a piece of it. I think he's definitely got a shot at it. Dick Rice and Dave Gomez playing each other, uh, and the score is uh, Dick on the hill and Dave at four games. So that score is five to four. That is on table two. On table, I'm sorry, that is on table four. On table two, we have Al Lawrence of Southwest Cues. Lives here in Las Vegas, playing Roger Bordley uh, from Oregon. From uh, from no, from Ogden, from Ogden, Utah. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that on the video, but the uh, the magic rack. What did I miss there? What did I miss there? The magic rack jumped up in the air. Did the ball rolled over it? Did he have a clear shot on the two, or did he just bank it? I just missed that. He banked it. He banked it, okay. Anyway, score between Al Lawrence. Maybe Daniel's burrito was a little too greasy. Why? What did I do? <laughs> No, that wasn't me. And that wasn't you. The magic rack wasn't you. Right. Oh, you were talking? I thought you smelled something. No. <laughs> no, but thank you. It's definitely TMI. <laughs> exactly. Uh, once again, guys, Al Lawrence of Southwest uh, playing uh, Roger Bordley. Score there is 5-0 Al. Edgar Jackson playing Rocky Phipps. Score is 1-0 Edgar. And do you know who won between Ernesto and uh, Ernesto. Ernesto did win that match? Who did he play? Who was he playing? Okay. Tatum? Was he playing Tatum? Okay. Oh, but a B player. All right, so Jay now taking a look at this. He's trying to figure out if he can squeeze the five into the side, like, and uh, carom it off the, uh, off the six after he makes this four ball. So it looks like he's gonna take it on. He may, he may play carom and just try to make the six. Came up a little short. He looks like he's going to put some pace in that shot. That was creative because he uh, he got a shot too. He he made sure he that he still played a shot on the five, and it was a good bank. That was a great, actually, pretty good bank. He should be out from here. Yep. 
looks like it might end up being might end up being uh, game one to Jay Hlavacic from Colorado, Lakewood, Colorado, actually. Daniel Burke, I just wanted to thank you for bringing POV video down to Hollywood last weekend. Uh, Bush, Bush. You did it again. You did it, Daniel Bush, yes. Well, you know, there's George, and I didn't want to make all those bad jokes. So. But what I wanted to say is thank you, and uh, we have about two dozen extra hits on the, on the show already, and it's from locals. We have enough players now that are interested. They're going to have the uh, Thursday night local tournament. Very weekly. nice, very nice. So it was really positive. Now, if only we can get our friend Jesse to uh, bend a little bit with his uh, with a with an exchange, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, Jesse, the owner, seventeen thirty nine Public House in Los Pilos area of Hollywood. <laughs> Well, he seemed to like that commercial that I did for him. <laughs> yeah, what's not to like? Uh, he's he's still remodeling the, the steakhouse and the, the wine bar, and there's talk now of turning part of it into a hookah lounge. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll hope that's legal. All right, folks. Jay Hlavacic takes break. game one in a race to six. This is from the winner's side. And as far as uh, as far as brackets and all of that information, I still have that errand to run for you guys. Uh, when I get the chance, I will. I'll get a photograph and I'll upload it to some. I'll give you guys a link or some some kind of information so that you can. Take a look at the draw and see uh, who is all attached to this event and uh, who's playing who. So I apologize for the delay on that, uh, but uh, we have three days so and a long way to go. So enjoy it, folks. In fact, my character. God, you want everything. <laughs> You want massage too? Mm -hmm. okay. Looks like he probably is going to get out from here. Smooth shot, this should be over. All right, 
this one's over. Well, for your Q enthusiasts out there, uh, I just picked up a little bit of information that was pretty cool. Uh, it turns out that Jeremy Jones and Mitch Elliman both play with a shirts Q. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that exactly right. Uh, but Mitch informed me that it's made by Gabe Owen's father. And uh, I saw his Q up close. It does quality work. It might be something you want to look into. Well, for the matchups around the room that you can't see, Rodney Morris just got started against a local player named Alex Parna. And uh, another two local players, solid players, Edgar Jackson and Rocky Phipps. And over on table two, you have Al Lawrence of Southwest Q's is uh, in a good matchup. He's on the hill. Uh, he's winning five to two. So it probably looks like he's probably going to take care of business there. Ouch. Well, that one's going to leave a mark. Sorry about the lack of play-by-play. -play. I'm not much on that myself. <laughs> a B player giving play-by-play -play information is probably not what you're looking for out there in the chat room. So uh, I'll just try to let you know and keep you up to date with what's going on until Daniel gets back. He's doing some cleanup. Homework. I tell you guys, if you can make the trip to Vegas uh, annually, or uh, this would be a good time to come because it's hard to beat this bar tournament right here. Great payout, great Calcutta. I mean, you're talking about a world-class field. Uh, it's almost like U.S. Open time. As a matter of fact, there's four U.S. Open uh, uh, champions in this field. Uh, Rodney Morris, Jeremy Jones, uh, Darren Appleton, and Shane Van Boning. And uh, here it is. Uh, it's a very intimate setting. We're sitting right next to the tables. You get a chance to uh, 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 chat these players up and, and pick up some information when you can. Uh, and, you know, so it's just a really class act here. And uh, it's definitely worth the time to get out if you can. Oh, 
I thought he was going to get there. Just missed. Looks like Rodney Morris is taking care of business. A little break and run on the first rack and uh, heading into the second one. All right, Daniel's back. Okay, guys, um, I am currently uploading a video bracket, so um, as soon as it uploads to my YouTube channel, I will post the link to you in Facebook, and if anybody out there could uh, assist me by posting that link also in the in the forums when they get a chance, that would be very helpful, either on uh, AZ Billiard or Vegas Billiards Buzz. In addition, I just want to let you know our next match is going to be uh, Ronnie Elcano versus Edgar Jacinto. Is it Edgar Jacinto? I can't remember. Edgar Jacinto, I think it is. Anyway, uh, Ronnie Elcano versus uh, Jacinto. Jacinto. I'll find out more about, uh, about him. When uh, when we start his match, what's our school here? Score here, uh, John. Uh, John. One one. I'm getting the feeling this is a turning into a chess match kind of uh, kind of uh, matchup. Just made, yeah, world class. Kick, yeah, yeah, kick just long yeah, table yeah, yeah. kick in the corner. That's a really nice little shot there. Uh, I want to also welcome Lee Brett or oh, Ernie Jacinto. That's right. He's a local Vegas player who uh, played pretty decent when AP Audio lived out there <laughs> in the chat room. Thanks, AP Audio in the chat room for giving us uh, something on Ernie Jacinto. Jacinto, actually. Jacinto. Oh, really? Like you're a hack or something? No, I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm sitting here with John English. Uh, and uh, we got Murphy in the background, too, helping us out. He's He's uh, been sweating uh, every match here so far since we started today. So, uh, actually, Ernie Jacinto, is, apparently there's a line on him for third place, or at least he, he came in third at one of these Rum Runner events. And uh, hopefully throughout the weekend, I'll actually get a couple of commentators in here that have more experience coming to this every year. You know, it would have been nice to have Joe Canella in here, but he, he's, he's got out of town. Jim Blakeman, I'd like to get him on the stream. You know, maybe even uh, maybe even Mr. Gino Hall will come and, and say hello to everybody. Rodney Morris in a match with Alex Pernas. Rodney up 2-0. Al Lawrence ahead of uh, Roger Bordley, five games to two. Edgar Jackson. Hill, Hill, I mean, uh, neck and neck with Rocky Phipps at one game to one. Josh. Josh. Josh Edgar will take the lead. <laughs> they just changed the name tag. I, 
I could be mistaken. They have him written down as Josh Edgar, but I believe it is Edgar's. If anybody... Okay, so it is Edgar. Okay. So, all right. So, I am I'm the fumbling uh, host of this event right now. So, if you guys bear with me. Once again, I want to thank uh, Vegas Billiards Buzz. Uh, and their social forums for getting the word out about this event. Goplaypool.com uh, for getting the word out about this event. Very much appreciated. Definitely go download the iPhone app or the Android app, Go Play Pool, where you can find out exactly where to play pool in the United States. Also want to thank Max Eberly and Pro Pool Academy. Other forums include AZ Billiards and Inside Pool. Thanks a lot, guys. We're all in this together. This event is sponsored by Kamui Tips and the Orange County APA League. You can also see real-time real uh, player statistics of the matches that you're watching right now on the stream by Don Espinoza at PoolTracks.net. Definitely go to PoolTracks.net. And stay tuned, guys. We're going to have Ronnie Elcano versus Ernie Jacinto. That is the next match on this table. step away for a minute. Uh, to handle a couple of technical things. Uh, so I'm gonna leave you here with John and uh, even if uh, Murphy wants to uh, assist, that's cool too. They're picking up the pace a little bit. Looks like uh, Josh Edgar's catching a bit of a gear here. Three to one. All right. The score is now three to one. He's well on his way. Looks like Rodney Morris is taking care of business over there up four nothing. Next table over. Al Lawrence's match is tightened up. It's now uh, five to four. Al. Looks like he's having a little trouble getting the one frozen. Oh, he's, oh, he's got it. Oh, a little chink in Rodney's arm. Right? The local man gets a game in. 4-1. Yeah, 4-1 at this point. I'd be happy just not to get skunked if I was playing Rodney myself. Whoa, jump ball. Uh-oh, try for the power break. Like I said, everybody should have been watching Mitch. Nice medium break, park the cue ball, and it makes as a shot every time. Oh, 
Well, POV pool, uh, the, yeah, POV pool .com, the video window's there now, so all you gonna do is hit Oh, well, now the Jay's gonna get back in the match. Now's the time to do it. You're not gonna have a better opportunity than this. Table's wide open. Run out's just begging to be Tad. It's time to get after it. Yeah. Okay, Alan Lawrence just uh, from Southwest Q's went ahead and finally put the match away. Coming up on that table now is a Troy Ritter from Phoenix, Arizona, and Dave Hughes from Lakewood, Colorado, I believe that says. It's looking more and more like uh, Jay's going to get out here and kind of tighten this match up a little bit. Man, this term is something else. Everywhere you turn your head is another great player. And Moral Paez, Rodney Moores, Stevie Moore, Mitch Elliman. Everywhere you look, Ronnie Elcano is just a, a champion sitting in the room. What's uh, do you know what's going on there between uh, Rodney and Jim Blakeman there? What what, what that was all what that was all about just now? No, I missed it. I saw Jim walk over there, but I had no idea what they were talking about. Guys, I want to let you know there is a video bracket available right now on my YouTube channel. Uh, I am posting the link to that bracket in the chat room. Feel free to check it out and also do me the service of posting this link in the forums. I really appreciate it. We all know the forums, don't we? <laughs> anyway, an updated video bracket will come later. Can I leave you guys for a second? I'm going to step away for just a second, and um, there's not going to be a scoreboard. These guys will help you with the score, so enjoy the rest of this match. Okay, you, speaking of scores, I'll give you a little update from around the room. We have... Uh, Three to two, Josh Edgar over Jay Havlicek, who just Jay just broke in that game, looking to tighten it up. Uh, we got a brand new match that just started, zero zero with Troy uh, Ritter and Dave Hughes, Hodges, excuse me. And it's uh, two to one between two stout local players, Edgar Jack, uh, Rocky Phelps is leading Edgar Jackson two to one, and then Rodney, of course, is taking care of business. He's up five to one against one of our local players.
And just to give you an idea of the kind of money that's uh, paid out in this tournament, I believe it's 6000 for first place. 64-man field, that's a pretty good payout, 6000 And I believe the Calcutta first place... Well, with the, just to suffice to say, the, ta the uh, tournament pays good money. Place is really starting to fill up inside. A lot of the local uh, local players are coming to watch. Uh, their favorite pros. That's a pretty nice hit. Executed safety, nice shot. <laughs> well, it looks like Ronnie uh, Ronnie Morris is gonna snap it on off. He's running out right now. He's shooting the six or the seven at this point in the rack and. Uh, I'd say that one's in the in the history books. All right, that one's over. Rodney Morris takes it on off six to one. I mean, how strong a bar tournament is this? Four U.S. Open champions. And then you also have the likes of Ronnie Elcano and, uh, you know, Lee Brett, Jason Shaw. I mean, this Oscar Dominguez, Ernesto Dominguez, uh, Stevie Moore. I mean, this is one stout tournament. Yeah, I was just looking on the. the you win this wall tournament, you've done something. On the outside wall there, I see Dave Ditello, Frank the Barber, he's from L.A. area, Johnny Kane. we got some heavy hitters here. Oh, there's no doubt. Everywhere you look are, are just outstanding players. There's Machine Gun Lou walking in the door. And his, his uh, son, Sal Patera, is also in the tournament. And you got some California players like Brian Parks. Have you seen Butch today? Uh, I have not. No. He was here last night with his son, just got out of the Marines. I've watched Butch shoot for 20 years and I've never seen him so happy before. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, these days, uh, we, we definitely support our servicemen out there and, and uh, anybody that, that serves and gets home safely, that's a great day. Thanks to J.D., his son, and all the service guys out there that have put it on the line for us. Oh, yeah, there's no way we can ever thank them enough. Yeah. I'm going to announce this other match as soon as they, he gets the cards up, which will be just uh, shortly. Nice little shot. Got the movement good on the cue ball there. Oh, another match getting ready to start. Ray Skinnador, two local players, Ray Skinnador and uh, Chris Thomas. Very well 
all done from the five to the six. We got a little Johnny Lang background music. How good is that? That's quite the angle he's looking for, but this uh, the key shot in this game for sure is seven and eight. Nice, nice little shot. Maybe got a little further off the rail than he'd like to be with the cue ball for this shot, but uh, looks like he's going to take care of it. Was a bit unfortunate. I think everybody knows what it's like to get on the short side of the ball once in a while. See if he can come with a little shot under the pressure. First one fifteen match, table four. Chris Thomas, Ray Skinner. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nice uh -oh. Cut. No cigar. Wow. It's a tough way to lose. Boy, we, we got this guy in our neighborhood called Jeff that has a slogan, mad at your money. Well, you get on the short side like that, you got to beware that scratch is, uh, that scratch is there. <laughs> He's going to be still tough. Himself. Still tough no matter how you look at it. That's how it is when you're not a champion, you get a little out of line, the next shot you're a little further out of line, the next shot you're a little further out of line, and next thing you know you can't recover. Well, the adrenaline gets going on days like today. That's uh, Jim Blakeman right there giving them a little instructions on how to properly rack with the magic rack. Um, Jim Blakeman, I believe, is a two or three time winner of this event. Daniel Bush will be back shortly. He's taking care of more technical issues. A lot of work goes on in the streaming, as you know. My name is John English. I'm here with uh, Murphy. We're doing the commentary as we can. I'm John English out of uh, Los Angeles area. I have uh, 18 pool rooms and eight karaoke bars that I have equipment in. Run tournaments in about six of them. So uh, play hard. And if you need some work, call English. Or just put some English on it. <laughs> hey, I like that. That's all right. And uh, yeah, like I said earlier, I'm not doing much on the play by play. I'm a local guy here in Vegas, grew up on the East Coast in Virginia Beach. And, uh, uh, you know, I strive to be one of these better players, but I'm a B player myself, so uh, I kind of leave out the play-by-play -play so I don't embarrass myself too much. <laughs> but yeah, we, I'm doing the best I can. Daniel will be back in a little bit. Okay, I guess a little round-the-room update. Uh, 
Troy Ritter and Dave Hughes. Uh, that match is one apiece, locked up. Uh, uh, Rocky Phipps, Edgar Jackson, they're sitting there at 3 1, Rocky. And uh, Ray Scandor and Chris Thomas, that match just got started there in their first game. And of course, the match on the featured table Josh Edgar versus uh, Jay Havlicek. Uh, Josh is winning 4 to 2 at this point. Uh, wow, no payback on that. And uh, definitely uh, stay tuned because Ronnie Alcano is next. Alcano is next on table one after this match. <laughs> It's, it's great to see POV Pool uh, doing this uh, match. Um, they do great work. Um, everybody knows that. And, um, you know, they're at a lot of the major tournaments, a lot of the guys I heard about, but it's nice to see POV Pool here in Las Vegas at the Rum Runner, Andy Mercer. Uh, this is, I think this tournament's been kind of one of the better kept secrets in the, uh, the world of pool. Um, uh, obviously, right now, uh, because of bonus ball, I'd say, we've had a lot more champions in this tournament has been exposed to it than in the past. Uh, a lot more guys in town. And and now with this, I think the fields are only going to get stronger and stronger. It's a great payout in the tournament. Well, everybody, I'm back. Uh, and I was just overhearing you. Yeah, it's, a, what, 6,000 for first place yeah, in this event? 6,000. How many bar team? It's 64-man field, 6,000 for first. Um, I mean, Swanee and these other great tournaments are great tournaments. Swanee's a 192-man field, 3,000 for first. Yeah, I mean, think uh, about that. This is a this is a hell of a tournament in a very intimate setting, which is what I, I like. We're right on top of the tables. Uh, the players are very accessible. Everywhere you look around the room, there's a champion, and um, they they don't you know I've chatted up half of them. I mean, they're most of these guys. They're all great guys, and 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 more than willing to talk to you and give you a few pointers. Yeah, there seems to be a lot a lot of camaraderie amongst the guys. You know. Um, yeah, and, and and it's like you said, you know. I mean, there are so many players in this tournament that have played every year, you know. In fact, but, but I think Joe Canella, who's not playing this year, he says that he's the only guy that's played every year, what? except for this year. Well, yeah, Joe. That's Joe, that was a well special situation with Joe. Is his son is getting married in Argentina? Yes. And uh, so he had to go down for that, and it just so happens, obviously this wedding was planned well in advance, just so happens the new pope is from Argentina, so it's kind of a, a big deal down there. So uh, he, I know he's very excited to be down there uh, um, uh, with that whole uh, scenario and his son getting married, so uh, I'd like to say congratulations to Joe and, and wish the new couple a, um, a happy life together, and, and Joe will be back next year, I'm sure. Yeah, and I'd also like to thank Joe Canella too, uh, for... Um, for his uh, assistance in getting me a decent room rate at the Longhorn Casino, where he is a uh, general manager, and so thanks to Joe Canella, and it's been great to meet you, and and uh, I sure wish uh, I hope we we speak soon. He he owns Pool Sharks. Yeah, he yeah, not? he owns Pool Sharks, so uh, he's all around a good ambassador for pool. Yeah, that's great. How's this match going? Uh, it's they've had some you know their ups and downs, uh, but it uh, looks like Josh is getting ready to take control. He's up uh, four to two, and uh, looks like he's uh, going to get out a little tricky between that seven and eight, being on the same rail like it is. Did you give him any 
advice? About the audio? Yeah. No. Oh, what audio? Is this microphone system? No, I did not. No, no, no. About about putting the feed onto the smart TV. You didn't bring that up to me. You did. I'll oh, hit him before I leave. Oh, that's what he asked me. We, we got this kind of talking about other things. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's too bad you can't stick around for a couple of days. So. I got a little further away than what he'd like to have on that eight, but uh, so you'll be come with one good shot here, and uh, he's got total control of the match. Or, or at least, I mean, I don't have to stream it, but I'll promote it. You know, try to get the more players out there. Oh. Some more short side shape. Uh, back cutting the nine ball. He's a little close to his work, but he should be okay. What do you think? Uh, it's, it's tough the second time we... Hey, good shot, good shot. There you go. Josh is now on the hill, five games to two. And once again, for those of you just joining us, we are the 23rd Annual Rum Runner Lounge, or the 23rd Annual Andy Mercer Memorial Nine Ball Tournament at the Rum Runner Lounge, owned by Gino Hill, Tournament Director uh, Gordon Hill. Streamed live by POV Pool, sponsored by Kamui Tips. And the Orange County APA Association. Watching Josh Edgar and Jay Slavacek. Boy, that's getting easier to say now. Practice makes perfect, right? You gotta Practice. say it. At first, uh, I didn't want to take a stab at it. <laughs> No, perfect practice makes perfect. That's what Rodney said. That's right. You're right. <laughs> I stand corrected as usual. <laughs> uh, yeah, Shane Van Boning is in this as well. Ronnie Alcano, he's playing next against Ernie Jacinto. Uh, Max Eberly, we've got uh, Jason Shaw, Darren Appleton, Rodney Morris, Stevie Moore. Jeremy Jones. Jeremy Jones. Mitch Ellerman. Mitch Ellerman. It's, a, it's a, uh, Ernesto Dominguez, Oscar Dominguez. Uh, uh, Moro Paez, Ismael Moro Paez, Bernardo Chavez. Yeah, King Kong. King Bernard Kong. Chavez. It's a powerhouse of uh, pool here this weekend, and I highly recommend uh, that all of you tune in, stay tuned in, and also check out some One Pocket, too, on the Inside Pool TV Ustream channel. They're doing the Pennsylvania State One Pocket Championships all weekend long. Yeah, this is this is a great tournament. This is, uh, I mean, I haven't obviously I haven't been to all the tournaments around the country, but I tell you, this has got to be one of the best. For the strength of the tournament, the payout, and the intimate setting, I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better than this. It is a very good payout. They're going to pay through 16, correct? Uh, I think that's what it is. Top 16. Now, gets I want to say it's the top 12. But I'm not positive. Actually, I think I was, there's a J. I can take a picture of the payouts and post them in the. Uh, oh yeah, that'd be great. I know it's six thousand for first, but I don't know what the other uh, what the other breakdown is. And just before I do that, I'd like to thank Charles Hill for his uh, recent donation to POV Pool. Really appreciate it. Donations uh, to POV Pool are always appreciated. And uh, there is a donate button on my website. If you care to help out with the expenses and the costs of streaming. Be sure to visit pobpool.com slash donate. Thank you. Yeah, and us in Las Vegas would like to thank POV Pool for putting a little spotlight in the pool world on our uh, our nice little bar tournament here. It's, it's oh, something man. that's... Uh, it's, we're very pleased to have you. It's a big honor, man. It's a big, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be here. It's my first time out of state, too. First time out of state, streaming out of state. So I'm really happy to be doing it here at the run, at the Rum Runner. Well, we're doing. You're doing an excellent job. I hope we uh, get a chance to see you every year as this uh, tournament just grows and grows. Yeah, yeah. 
That would be nice. It would be nice. I really do I like it here in Las Vegas. I haven't really spent, you know, every time I've come to Vegas, I've always just done the casinos or done the event that I'm showing up for, you know. Well, I, yeah, this takes a lot of time. You get a little action in the evenings and uh, doesn't leave a lot of time for seeing the sights. But uh, not only, I mean, obviously you got the casinos and, and all that comes with that and the shows. But, sure. I mean, there's a lot of outside beauty, too, like Red Rocks and, and, and some... Uh, towns that aren't that far away, like the Route 66, the Oatman, Arizona, right. you know. So there's a lot of very cool the things. Hoover it's, Dam is just yeah, a the few Hoover Dam. miles it's, away. Yeah, it's 23 how can I miles forget away? that? Right. I mean, so there's a lot of things to see here. I mean, this would be a great little trip, whether it be for the casino and the sightseeing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. And not to... Uh, not to take away from the performance that you're watching right now, but uh, Josh Edgar is now closed out against Jay Hlavacek. And we're going to start this match right now against Ronnie Alcano and Ernie Jacinto. This is Daniel Bush with POV Pool sitting here with Murphy. Uh, is that, is that no, uh, James Murphy. James I go, Murphy. And uh, for all you AZ Billiard people out James there, Murphy. it's Jay Murphy is, is my handle on AZ Billiards, Jay Murphy. So... Uh, um, I appreciate the opportunity to help out with this. I've, obviously, I'm sure you can tell I've never done this before, but uh, I just, you know, keep keep pushing through. Don't be too harsh on me. Are you kidding me? You're doing a great job, James. We're going to be right back with Ronnie Elcano versus Ernie Jacinto on POV Pool. Thanks a lot.